Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this video we are covering DHCP server and we will understand how DHCP allocates IP address to the client and how DHCP lease generation works and how DHCP lease get renewed. So let's see. How DHCP allocates addresses. It allocates IP addresses on a lease basis also called as a dynamic basis you can also set a lease duration anywhere from a few minutes to unlimited the default lease time is eight days for the wired clients and three days for wireless clients when a client requests an IP address the DHCP offers the next available IP address from the pool which we have set on the DHCP server and it is possible to reserve particular IP address for a specific client uh, based on the media access control that is a MAC address of the client's network interface. A DHCP uses IP broadcast to initiate the communication with the clients. Therefore DHCP servers are limited to communication within their IP subnet uh, which means that in a many networks you have seen that there is a DHCP server for each IP subnet there there will be a different a DHCP server in a network where a DHCP server is installed DHCP client respond to a DHCP broadcast and if you configure a computer with an IP address that computer has a static IP address uh, it will not not be a DHCP client it will be a non DHCP client and it does not communicate with the DHCP server for example your server and uh, your network printers are the example for a network client that typically have the static IP addresses. So let's see how DHCP lease generation works. DHCP uses a four step lease generation process to assign an IP address to the client. So understanding how each step for this process work will help you to troubleshoot the problem when clients cannot obtain an IP address. So the DHCP lease generation process has a four step also called as a DORA. So in the process of the DORA, the first step is to discover the DHCP server. Like if you see the DHCP client right now, it do not have any IP address. So it will send a DHCP discover packet over the network because it does not know where is the DHCP server located. So it will send a broadcast packet on the network and it will be received by all the computers on the network but the other computer will discard that packet as it's a packet of a DHCP discover only the DHCP server 1 and DHCP server 2 are responsible to respond to that packet like a DHCP client sent a packet and it will be sent to all the computers on the network in a first step the client broadcast a DHCP discover packet and it is received by the DHCP server 1 and 2 and in the second step the DHCP server broadcast a DHCP offer packet like it will say I have an IP address because if you see the other two computer it they have already have an IP address they will also get that request offer request but they will discard that request because they already have an IP address and this client the DHCP client it do not have a IP address so it will receive that packet and server will send a reference ID so that this client may know that which uh, DHCP server is offering me the packet so they will respond a DHCP offer packet to the client and in the third step the client will broadcast a DHCP request that means a DHCP request will be broadcasted with the reference ID and which reference ID because we have a two DHCP server 1 and uh, DHCP server 2 on the network it will receive an IP address from only a, that server who have responded first to the DHCP discover packet so now the DHCP client broadcast DHCP request with the reference ID like uh, whatever the reference ID they have sent and whatever the reference uh, reference ID it has received first from the DHCP server it will send a broadcast to a DHCP request like request for an IP like you can assign me IP send me the IP so in the fourth step a DHCP server one will send a broadcast and 
and only the DHCP client will receive that IP and other will discard the packet. How DHCP lease renewal works? Like when 50% of lease duration has expired, the client will send a request to a DHCP server that my 50% of lease duration has expired. Like when the four days will passed away like the default lease is for eight days and when four days are passed like 50 percent of duration has expired the client a DHCP client will request to a DHCP server that my 50 percent of lease has been expired and it will send a DHCP request again to a DHCP server and the server will respond with the DHCP pack message back to the client and the lease will be renewed for again for more eight days like it will have uh, again eight days and after uh, the f again the four days will pass it will ask again for a DHCP request will be sent to a, a DHCP server and uh, it will send a DHCP pack to the computer again if the DHCP client cannot contact the DHCP server then the client waits until 87.5 percent of the lease time expire and at this point the client sends a DHCP request a broadcast request to obtain a renewal and the request goes to the all DHCP server not just the server that provided the original lease however this broadcast request is for the renewal for the IP address not for a new lease and if the client fails to renew the lease after 87.5 percent of the lease has expired the DHCP lease generation process starts over again with the DHCP client uh, broadcasting a DHCP discover and offering and all the process with the same like uh, Dora process will reoccur. I hope you found the video as uh, informative. Please do subscribe the channel for more upcoming updates and thank you for watching.